Oh, and welcome to True 100% episode 36. I'm back. Whoa, it's season two. Holy crap hype. Whoa, like, favorite, subscriber. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello. I'm back. It's it's season two. We're done with the master save. We're starting missions. Hello. Happy April Fool's Day. Uh, or whenever you're watching this, I guess. It, it was uploaded on April Fool's Day. Uh, depending on which video you watch, if you watch the one that I release on April Fool's Day, then you would have just watched the little Minecraft Let's Play gag segment thing in front of this. Uh, if you're one of the brave people that just watch anything I put out. Uh, if you're one of the people that saw Minecraft, said ooh, and then clicked away, and then saw this a day later, well, there you go. Shame on you. <laughs> and there's a third type, the people that watched it live on Twitch. Yeah, there you go. So many ways to watch these videos. Well, that, was, that was my plug done. Anyway, I am back. It's it's episode thirty six. Um, I decided against renumbering everything in seasons, so I'm just gonna keep the big number because it looks better and easier to follow. So this is episode thirty six. We can still call it season two, I guess. Uh, and yeah, we're done. We're done with the master save. And this episode is gonna be all about the first mission of the game, uh, Big Smoke slash Sweet Kendall. It has two names. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, at the start here, I need to clear garage space um, because in the master save, I kind of filled all my garages with random cars. So here I have the all-proof police ranger. I want to keep that. Uh, but these other two cars, I mean, you know, they're just they're just regular cars. They're not having special about them. They're just kind of rare at the start of the game. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and empty some garages here, make some room, uh, and that's because in the missions I'm going to do special vehicle collection. So there's a group of people on GTA forums mostly who like to play through the game and try to get every unique vehicle you can, such as the police ranger I'm driving, if you saw the episode with it in. Uh, this police ranger is uh, invincible to a lot of things. It's invincible to crashes, guns, fire, explosions, stuff like that. Uh, and there's lots of vehicles like this in the game, most of them in missions obviously. Uh, and I'm going to try to collect them all, just like lots of people have done before me. Uh, but also, I'm going to try and do different things in these missions. I'm also going to try to find every single failure state, because that's kind of interesting. Uh, at least the ones that don't kill me, because uh, I still don't want to die at any point during this playthrough. Uh, and as a side thing, I guess I'll try to watch all the cutscenes and stuff. I know I said I was going to watch all the cutscenes before, but I'm kind of not too fussed about it <laughs> this time. I'll probably watch the major ones, um, but I think in this episode I accidentally skipped like half a cutscene because I didn't do a thing right, but never mind. Uh, anyway, here's this garage. So this garage is the one we can store cars on top, so I've got a Patriot up there, which was a fun time getting that up there. Uh, and then we also have a Euros and a Phoenix. These are all kind of rare cars. Um, but we're done the Master Save now, we have even rarer cards to obtain, so I'm just going to get rid of them basically. Um, so I just park the thingy there to keep the garage door open so they don't get fixed and just blow them up. The Patriot's long gone uh, and then these two cars I'm just gonna like push out and just let them despawn with the, the garage because uh, cause every garage has like a bit in front of it that every was it 21 seconds or 31 seconds or something like that I can't remember uh, but every every some amount of seconds it like removes uh, car and vehicle like carcasses in front of it uh, as I as I learned from the Hydro episode. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use that mechanic to my advantage here if I could just manage to squeeze in front of them. I think, yeah, here we go. So I, I just place a satchel there just to blow them away from the wall a bit. Uh, I would just drive them out, uh, but they were like stuck inside of each other and I couldn't get into either of them. So this is like the best solution I could find for this was just to leave the police ranger which is invincible open in front of it uh, opening the garage in front of it and then just push them out it's like the, that was the best compromise for this uh, and eventually i managed to push them both out and get them despawned uh, and then we can continue but yeah this is obviously all just stuff i'm doing before i am gonna do the missions in this video uh this mission is this the video is quite long right it's like an hour and 10 minutes roughly depends whether the minecraft video is in front of it or not uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time just doing this one mission and all the things you could do in it. Uh, and I'll I'll go through, obviously, all the things that you can do in the first mission once we get there. 
Yeah, these uh, these episodes, now that we've got to the missions, they're all going to have a really different structure to previous episodes. Because uh, before, in the master save bit, towards the end I was kind of struggling a bit to try to f find, like, a group of things to do. Like, I obviously had, like, a to-do list of everything I wanted to do before the master save was over. Um, but but towards, towards the end, it was really hard to, like make some sort of coherent thread between, like, two or more of these things to make an episode. Uh, and it was getting it was getting hard to, like, plan everything to do. Um, and, like, you know, have a have a vague theme for the episode and stuff. But, but now that we're doing missions, I think the structure is really different. Because now the pre-production for these episodes, especially, well, especially this one, it's going to be a lot more like researchy sort of stuff and like just playing through the mission and seeing what I can do with it. Um, but yeah, the, as you'll see later on, uh, a lot of the, the researchy stuff I did for this mission uh, pays off in the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's, these missions are like a completely different structure. Uh, these, these episodes are a completely different structure. Um, and I'll be interested to see whether it makes doing these episodes easier or harder because... Maybe the stuff I have to perform is a bit easier rather than the crazy stuff I was doing in the Master Safe, like the actual like recording of it. Um, and obviously, like you know, having a plan of what to do might be a bit easier if I know enough about the mission and stuff. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I can do these episodes a bit quicker. Obviously, I haven't done these for a while, and I'm like pretty motivated to start doing this again. I was kind of enjoying this, uh, so this should be fun. Alright, anyway, I'm just cycling back to the other garage to sort the other two vehicles out. Um, and yeah, I guess I can talk about some stuff that's upcoming. Um, so, next week, which is the week of April 4th to 8th, that's several days. Uh, I think it's 4th to 8th, God, I should probably... You think I'd look this up before I start talking? April 4th to 9th, actually. Uh, the Jeep Grand Theft Auto Marathon is happening. It's the yearly Grand Theft Auto Speedrunners Marathon. Uh, here's the here's the bandito, by the way. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Marathon's happening. The yearly speedrun marathon with only Grand Theft Auto games. It happens every year. Yearly. I don't know how many times I could say that. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's happening. Uh, so we got a lot of speedruns happening. I'm I'm hosting a fair few of them, restreaming, and I'm doing one of them. Uh, I'm doing Ballad of Gate Tony 100% again uh, on Thursday. Thursday at 8 a.m. my time, whatever the hell that means, because time zones and uh, daylight saving times and crap. So, whatever 8 a.m. in the UK is on that day, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah. We got we got loads of games happening. So it's, you know, GTA Three, Vice City Stories, Lost and Damned, GTA Five, Four, San Andreas is obviously happening. There's actually quite a lot of San Andreas. I'm not doing any of it, thankfully. Um, but yeah, with the, even 100%, my Mr. Post is happening on the on the Sunday, uh, and on the very last day to end it, uh, we're gonna have the traditional traditional multi theft auto or MTA party on my server. Uh, so last year, I didn't actually have an MTA server because I'd shut it down, uh, and we had a party on GTA 5 instead. Uh, I wasn't there, but I don't think it was as good. Uh, so this year, now that I've got my MTA server back, we're going to be using that to uh, have a party on the post post marathon party. So yeah, make sure you tune in. It's, it's going to be at twitch.tv slash GTA marathon. It's going to be on all of that, like, almost week, four days, five days, whatever. Um... Yeah, so if you like GTA and you vaguely like speedruns, then that's where you want to go. Anyway, here's this garage with Berkeley's RC van in it. I got rid of the other cars. Um, I'm actually going to keep Berkeley's RC van because I kind of like that vehicle and it's like a lot rarer than the other ones. <laughs> um, but this bullet can go. I mean, it's a really nice car and I like driving it. Um, but yeah, I don't need this Infernus and this bullet anymore. Uh, and that monster truck in there is another uh, special vehicle. It's it's an all-proof monster truck that I got from my girlfriend. Um, so I definitely want to keep that, even though there's like a monster truck spawn down the road. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want that one. All right, just push it in, make some space. There's, there's space in that garage anyway. It's a pretty big garage. All right, and now that I've done that, I'm gonna make a save.
and then we can move on to starting the missions. So while I'm saving and walking to the mission market, uh, I will quickly say, uh, obviously, the season one recap video that I said I wanted to finish before I moved on to the next season or whatever, uh, I've kind of decided to not because it was taking way too long. Uh, the reason it's taking so long is, long story short, I hate video editing. I don't want to get into it. It's just me whining about fucking <laughs> my career choice, air quotes. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I've done some of it well i've did some of it um and the the style i was going for was like a like a highlighty real thing so it was like it was like music playing and then snippets of what i said in the video along with snippets of the video not necessarily of the same time of what i was saying and then like me explaining it like with snippets of the audio from that episode and stuff also a nice picture um the problem with that is that it required a lot of watching of all of my videos to, like, pick out things that I said that explained bit of the episode and stuff. Uh, and also, it, at the end of it, I just I just don't like it. It's It, it seems way too, like, hypey to, like, you know, MLG sniper shot highlight, really. Um, so I've decided to leave it for a bit. Um, and I might just change the style of it completely and, and do it again and start again. Uh, obviously, it's taken me this long to get, like, not finished yet, and I'm starting it again. So, probably, probably best if I just get back to making these episodes, because otherwise we're going to be waiting for ages. Um, anyway, before I keep talking about that, speaking of episodes... Uh, here's our first cutscene of the first mission. Whoa. Okay, but here, yeah, here we go. That's cool. Nice car, Smoke. You know me. It's not cut. Keep the value in it. Keep it real. I miss you these five years, man. They're gonna be real happy to see you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey. Good to see you. I can't believe she gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, nigga. And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out of my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with them essays. You know we peeped it. They ain't nothing but a Look, bunch I'm of low lives. what the fuck are you? At least I got Prince. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit, As long bitch. as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Asshole. Here we go again. This shit's real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? 
Things are going real bad. Here, let me show you, Running Man. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. It big devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on fools first, then ask questions second. Ballers, drive by, incoming. Oh, motherfucker, my car! We gotta get back to the hood, man. It's too crazy around here. Grab a bike and pedal. Either you ain't forgotten that. Follow my lead. Uh, cutscenes. Hello, I'm back. All right, uh, and I got a lot of explaining to do. So here is Sweet's car. Uh, Sweet's smokes car. Uh, it's actually a unique vehicle. Um, so the very first vehicle you see is actually a unique one. So this one is unique because it has a black colored roof. Uh, it's also completely black, but you can color it black yourself. Um, but the roof itself you can't actually color. Um, so this is one of the unique vehicles and I'm gonna collect it. I'm gonna, I want to drive it. I want to own it. Owning it is probably not mandatory, but driving it is. And obviously when it's like this, I kind of can't drive it. Um, so you may have seen me doing something like this before. Uh, yes, welcome back to the Hydra episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I hope you like me pushing exploded vehicles or me pushing locked vehicles into garages and such. Because uh, that's going to be a whole lot of what this playthrough is going to be. That's how you collect these special vehicles. Uh, speaking of special vehicles, here's another one. Here's a voodoo. Uh, this pink voodoo is actually special because it's secondary color, uh, which you can't actually see, is a unique color for this voodoo. It's it's like a red color, apparently. Um, I, I must confess, I don't actually know any of this, and I never actually found out. Um, I'm just following a guide that is on GTA forums. So lots of people have got together and made, like, a GTA SA special vehicle guide, and I'm, like, following that for the most part. I'm also going to do my own thing, obviously, but... But for information on these vehicles, you know, if someone's already done it before, I'm not going to do it myself. Um, but yeah, this is this is a voodoo, and its secondary colour is rose red, if I can read quick enough. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I can't find it. But anyway, it's... Um, God, there's a massive wall and text in front of me. You think I'd be editing this, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a rose red colour. That you can't actually color yourself. Uh, it does appear in other missions, but I mean, I might as well collect it here anyway. Why not? Um, so yeah, I'm going to use the special voodoo, uh, which is actually locked. By the way, the doors are locked; nobody can get in, not even like homies and stuff. Um, but if you shoot someone in it, uh, they fall out and leave the door open, <laughs> which is what you use in Life's a Beach and speedruns. Um, so you can't actually get in the vehicle. Uh, which is uh, probably why my homies aren't getting in. I'm not actually sure. Maybe that one's trying to actually. Maybe the other one just doesn't want to because there's not enough seats. Um, but yeah, th this is this is a unique vehicle because of that as well. Uh, when I put it in my garage, I won't actually own the vehicle. It won't like get repaired or unlocked or anything until the mission f ends, uh, and I'm going to do that by failing the mission. But yeah, but the main the main takeaway from vehicle collecting in this mission is this uh, unique perennial perennial. I'm not even sure I'm saying that word right. That's why I've always said it. It's probably wrong though. I, I don't mind. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna push cars. Uh, if I run out of things to talk about during these sections, I guess I'll speed them up. But I'll try to talk over them because I know people prefer it if I do that rather than speeding up. I actually got a wanted star here. Uh, and what happens, I think at some point, it's quite funny when the police try to bust me because the doors are locked. <laughs> You'll see when it happens, I guess. Uh, so yeah, this is the unique perennial. I'm So that garage I, I uh, emptied at the start of the video, the one, the beach house one, I can't remember what it's called, I call it the beach house, safe house. Uh, this, is the, this is the closest garage to this perennials where I want to store it. So that's why I had to empty it beforehand. Hey, now we're getting some pushing going. There we go. Uh, you can actually use, like, better vehicles of this. Like, one of the best vehicles would probably be, like, a fire truck. Um, which you could maybe get to spawn if you, like, started a fire or something. Oh, there you go. The cop tries to bust me when he can't because the door's locked. He just gives up and starts shooting you. It's great. I wonder why they, like, actually have an AI to deal with that. Like, it's so weird. 
Um, but yeah, if I had like a fire truck, this would be like way easier to push. But I, I also wanted the voodoo anyway, so I'll just try to get the voodoo at the same time. Um, now that I think about it, it might actually be slower to do that way than white. <laughs> anyway, while we go through the painful pushing process, uh, I actually have a few interesting things to talk about uh, about this mission while I was researching it. Um, so yeah, while I was like looking into how to get this, I on the the guide on the GTA forums it says that you need to fail the mission in order to get the voodoo and stuff. Um, and they suggested because I've never I didn't actually think about a failure state for this mission, but they suggested that you should just drown the BMX, which trashes trashes it. Uh, and that surprised me, because I didn't know there was a failure state in this mission for destroying the BMX, but apparently there is one, it actually checks it. Um, if you can see on the map, like, there's a marker where my BMX is, and the game really wants me to take the BMX. Um, but if you've ever watched any speedrun of this ever, you'll know that the BMX isn't required at all. I mean, look at me, I'm like driving a voodoo around, you don't need to use the BMX at all. Um, but yeah, the game actually apparently checks for it. Uh, so then I got curious and decided to look at the game's uh, subtitle files um, to see if I could find where any other failure states are listed for this mission. Um, so I went all Vadim M on it and I found all the strings associated with this mission, at least I think that all of them. Uh, they seem to be like, <laughs> that cop trying to get me, uh, they seem to be like locks, so I just control F'd for a subtitle I knew was part of this mission because I knew the subtitles. Uh, and I found this big block of subtitles, which I believe are all of them to do with this mission. Um, and it's actually really interesting. There's a, there's a lot here that I didn't know about. Um, so yeah, I, I so to start off with what I was looking for. I found the failure states. They're at the bottom of the block. Uh, it says, your BMX is trashed. And it's in red because it's a squiggly line, R squiggly line. So your BMX is trashed, exclamation mark. Uh, and then there's three other failure states, which are Smoke is dead, Sweet is dead, Rider is dead, which, you know, makes sense. If they die, the mission would fail. Uh, and that's all the failure states in this mission. So I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So you, I guess I'll try to kill all of them at some point and get those failure states. Um, and then I looked at the objectives, and it says, Follow Rider, you're too far away, stay with Rider. Follow Sweet, you're too far away, stay with Sweet. And then it says something really interesting. It says drive to the cemetery with big smoke and i was like huh i i guess at some point during development of this mission you were supposed to drive to the cemetery with big smoke uh and then i started looking into the actual like the actual speech subtitles and i found more and there's actually like there's actually conversations in here that are completely removed like with big smoke while you're driving and there's also some conversations which have like been sh been shortened so the conversation with Tenpenny, uh, the conversation on the phone call with Sweet at the start of the game, and the conversation at the cemetery were all longer at some point. Uh, and you can see the subtitles for them here. Uh, anyway, before I go into too much detail, I finally reached the garage. Here we are. Uh, I'm using the voodoo to keep the door open, and I'm trying to push the perennial in before the whole like 31 second timer thing destroys the... <laughs> removes the perennial from the game. Uh, thankfully I managed to line it up like this and get it in there nice and easy. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if you if you look here at the voodoo, it's like damaged and stuff. Uh, but when I drive it in, and you see how the perennial is completely destroyed, door shuts, door opens, perennial is completely fixed, but the voodoo is untouched, uh, and that's because the voodoo is still being like loaded by the mission, I guess, uh, and it's like not owned by me or whatever, so it's like it's it's not being affected by the garage. Um, so I have to actually go fail the mission in order for the uh, voodoo to, to become normal and become fixable and takeable by me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna drive back and grab the BMX and destroy it. Uh, anyway, yeah, back to back to the subtitles and stuff. Uh, so I can read some examples. So here in the first cutscene, uh, it starts with after five years on the east coast, it was time to go home, and then sup, Carl, it's sweet. What's up, sweet? What do you want? It's mom's bra. She's dead or whatever. And then. Then, CJ is supposed to say, How? How'd she die? And then Sweet says, Not now, you coming home? And then CJ says, Yeah, yeah, I am. And then that's when the phone call ends or whatever. Or there, I think there's more to that. No, there isn't more to that phone call, is there? It normally ends at she's dead, bro. Um, so yeah, there, there's a bit more to that phone call that was supposed to be in, but they removed that for whatever reason. Uh, here's more of, like, Tenpenny's stuff. So at one point... 
Uh, CJ asks, I was just wondering what took y'all so long when he, like, gets arrested or whatever. And then Tenpenny says, or someone says, well, you know, inside the airport, that's federal. That's not our gig. So there's actually, like, more to all these conversations. It's kind of weird. Uh, so then I went looking inside the sound effect files because I can access them inside MTA, which is multi theft auto. Um, I can access all the sound files that are inside the game, and I started searching for some, uh, and I found some. So unfortunately I couldn't find the actual cutscene ones. Um, I'm not sure where they're stored and if I can access them, but I could find... Uh, under the big smoke dialogue ones, uh, all the dialogue that happens like in games, so, like the little cutscenes that happen in game, and the dialogue that happens between people in game is all there. And there's there's a fair few of them that aren't actually used. Um, so on next time in this video, when I get a big break, I'm gonna take a minute away from like commenting and stuff, and I'm just gonna play every single audio file from this mission that I could find. Um, so yeah, there we go. So there we go. There's the there's the your BMX is trashed uh, string that I found. Um, oh yeah, also all of the the strings, the the text files associated with this, um, I've like formatted them a bit better using Notepad plus uh, plus, and I'll put those for download along with all the save files from this mission of this episode. Um, yeah, all the save files and pictures and all that the stats and stuff that I normally do with every episode. Uh, I'll upload the strings as well, so you can uh, read them all. Uh, for those who don't know, strings means like text in the like, program to speak, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's the fully black perennial with black roof. Uh, so I have repaired Smoke's car. He's not getting it back, though. It's mine now. <laughs> uh, and there's a good look of it. Good look around it. Uh, so that's our, like, first mission rare or unique vehicle or whatever. Uh, so there's that one, and here's the Voodoo, which is obviously not too special since it's only like a hidden color that you can't see. They've obviously like forgot to set it to the correct one or whatever because it's the second color, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it just, just looks like a normal Voodoo, I don't even know why I bothered doing this. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's that for the first mission attempt. Uh, so now we got to go do the mission again, uh, and there's actually a few more vehicles I want to try to collect. Um, the first one is the Perennial again, so there's actually two versions of the Perennial um, and I'll let you try to figure out what the difference is when we get there. I was about to say it, but I've decided it'll be more fun if I let you try to figure out what the difference is. So I actually got quite lucky here. I assume it's a 50% chance to get either version of the Perennial um, and I decided to not save or anything and just go straight there and try again and I actually got the, the next one first time, which was quite nice. Anyway, since we're gonna watch me drive to the mission start marker quite a few times in this video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so we can listen to the audio files. It's funny how s the car sounds like a lawnmower or something when you're using when it's sped up like that. Alright, so here's these cutscenes. I'm not gonna watch them again, I'm just gonna skip them. Um, and try okay so here we go I'll so here's the here's the new perennial uh, I think I actually point out the different yeah okay I point out the difference well it was a stupid attempt at surprise them wasn't it here's the sunroof the, the roof the roof has like a little the bars over it for like holding stuff I guess uh, anyway here's the here's the all the audio files I could find for this mission uh, there will be some like wind background noise in the background because the way I'm playing this is through MTA and I have to turn the sound really high up for you to be able to hear it um, I tried to go in the quietest place I could, but yeah, there's a bit of background noise, but just be aware of it, and yeah, you'll, you'll be able to listen. Right, here we go. So I'm going to play them all in order, as they are in the f the code. Uh, it might not make too much sense like that, but you can sort of understand like the, the basic order of them. Alright, here we go. You know me. It's not cut. Keep the value in it. Keep it real. You want to drive? Yeah, that's cool. You still like cars? I always love cars, man. I thought they didn't respect cars and liberty. Would you ride out there? Subway. <laughs> That's my brother. Here we are. Ballers! Drive by! Incoming! Oh, motherfucker! My car! We gotta get back to the hood, man. It's too crazy around here. I thought this was family's turf. Yeah, it's Temple Drive family. We don't roll with them no more. No shit! Things has changed. How we getting home? Grab a bike and pedal. Either you ain't forgotten that. Follow my lead. Nice car, Smoke. Takes you back some, huh, CJ? 
Yeah. CJ, watch your back around here, man. Things has changed around here. How I get so bad? Hey, sweet, try to keep up. Straight back into the game, right, dog? Was it this bad before you left? East Coast got you all thin down, home. You just a liability, CJ. Oh, you ain't ran out yet, huh, CJ? Why you bother coming back? Shit, a baller's car's onto us. Split up. Gang, ballers are chasing us down. Ballers, everybody break. Get up, CJ, pedal. Move it, CJ, not far to the grove. You okay, CJ? Hey, hey, car's down. Oh, man, that shit look like it hurt, homie. Get back on your bike, player. Ah, uh, <laughs> this fool took a fall. He can't even ride a bike. CJ, you cycle like a crack hole, fool. Move it, CJ, move it. Keep up, CJ. Come on, CJ, pedal like a motherfucker. Come on, man, you gotta keep up. Keep up, CJ. Don't lose us, CJ. What's the matter, fool? You tired? Move it, CJ. You embarrassing us, nigga. Keep up, motherfucker. Come on, CJ. You can't keep up with the fat man. Hey, look at CJ go. Hey, CJ, wait for us, man. CJ, you running like a bitch, man. Carl showing us how it's really done. Skinny fools fly the head on his own. CJ's doing this thing top speed, dawg. Typical CJ, leaving the homies behind, huh? Hey, wait for the homies, fool. Figures moving fast as a motherfucker, you buster. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. <laughs> the last thing we need is your help. Ah, man, I won't let you down, I swear. I got left behind. Y'all motherfuckers left me behind. Yo, East Coast sure put some legs on you, boy. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Man, you gotta lose some of that Liberty City anxiety, player. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. I got with them motherfuckers, though. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. And there you go. There's every single file I could find uh, under the big smoke mission group thing. Uh, also, in the meantime, in the background, I've been messing up real hard. So yeah, remember when I said uh, I didn't bother to save and I just did this one straight after the other one? Uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had saved so I could have restarted this because this is kind of a nightmare. Uh, I lost the voodoo, but I mean, I already collected one of those, so that's fine. Uh, and now the police are just doing this weird thing where they're like trying to bust me, but they can't for some reason. And they're like not shooting me. I'm not sure what quite what's happening. I'm holding the honking button to stop them from busting me, but it doesn't normally make them like chase me like this. So yeah, this is quite an ideal situation for four stars. <laughs> like, look at this situation I've got myself into. Good God. How did I get four stars? <laughs> Uh, but thankfully, I do manage to get the perennial in the garage and lose the wanted stars and stuff before I die or whatever. Uh, I haven't, even though I had a, a gap, a break, I haven't lost my ability to deal with four stars. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, look at these cars in here. Jeez. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, get back on topic. That that was every every uh, audio file I could find. Um, it's kind of interesting, there's a lot that was removed. There was obviously a lot more to that mission, at least planned at some point. So like, I think it sounded like CJ is scripted to fall off the bike at some point, or maybe they just were supposed to respond if you fell off the bike. Because a few of them said something about you falling off and Smoke said something about you being hurt and stuff like that. So I think there's probably a scripted section where you got like knocked off or something like that. Like face planted maybe, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, the Enforcer, that's a much better vehicle for pushing this. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of pushed into this corner, which wasn't too smart. This was this is a massive train wreck. I really wish I'd saved so I could have done this again. There's no, no reason for me to do this with four stars. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, it, it actually sounded like it was a lot of interesting stuff that was removed, so that's a shame. Um, but yeah, the, often this sort of stuff comes up a lot about a load of co content in Rockstar games. And everyone seems to always get really angry about it. Like, oh, Rockstar is shit. Why would they cut all this stuff out? Oh, it's awful. It sounded way better before and stuff. It's like, aside from the whole the grass is greener problem with that attitude. Um, well, the grass is always greener. Even. Um, cut content is just... 
it's just a thing that happens in every video game. Uh, every video game has stuff cut from it, you just don't know about most of it. For whatever reason, Rockstar tends to leave a lot of this stuff in. Uh, I'm not sure why, maybe it's just how their software cycle works, or maybe it's just, a, you know, something to do with their design philosophy or something. But they often always leave this stuff in, and I prefer it that way. I, I like digging up all these unused things and learning about this stuff. I'm sure they had a reason for removing it all, whether it's just time constraints or maybe it just wasn't that fun. Maybe falling off your bike as part of a scripted sequence in this mission wasn't all that great. It does sound pretty annoying for like speedruns and stuff, so you know, who knows. Uh, so yeah, I just want to put that out there before I start going and digging up all this cut content for every mission and then every comment section is sort of hatred, it's just like... Happens in every video game, it happens in every form of media, to be honest. So, yeah. Anyway, got my spiel out of the way. There we go, I managed to get it in there. Somehow it didn't despawn. And apparently, if you put a vehicle in upside down, it repairs the right way up. So, I learned something new, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I got both the perennials, and now I'm just gonna drive to the pain spray and lose these flipping wanted stars that I shouldn't even have. And now I'm not sure what to talk about. <laughs> been several hours since I recorded that last clip and I can't think of anything. Uh, I've already covered GTA Marathon. I've already covered, like, you know, this episode in general and, you know, special vehicles and stuff. Uh, I guess we could talk about April Fools. Uh, obviously this April Fools video is a bit, you know, more normal than my previous April Fools videos. Uh, last year's one was pretty good. I like last year's one. So did other people. It's still funny how some some people like apparently took what I said seriously, either in a bad way or a positive way. I don't know. It's kind of funny. I wonder what April Fools will be there this year. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, here's the bike. Um, I'm just gonna like fail this mission. Now that I think about it, I'm not actually sure why I go to fail, like specifically fail this mission. But never mind. There's my voodoo from earlier. It's still there. <laughs> Interesting. Apparently hasn't been like five minutes or whatever the despawn time is. Maybe it's three, I don't quite remember. Uh, oh, sick wheelies and stuff though, there you go. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this episode has been quite long, obviously. Normally, what was, the, what was the average length of these episodes? I'm going to look this up live. That's, that's how my commentary works. I don't pre-prepare things. <laughs> um, yeah, this has been quite a lengthy episode really, isn't it? Uh, let's see, how do I... Oh god, they've changed, like, YouTube's stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... If you, like... When you go on YouTube, as like, you, a YouTube studio, it's called, where you can see, like, all your videos. All of your... your demonetized videos. <laughs> uh, it's like a completely different UI now. It's nicer, but it's like... There's, there's a tab called Missing Features, and it, like, lists all the things that are... Featured. Oh, there's the thing I even wanted. Playlist button. There, it's in the missing features thing. Fantastic. Playlists. All right, here we go. Yeah, so I'm glad YouTube has a nice new menu, but it's gonna be in beta for like five billion years, isn't it? Uh, so the first episode was 43 minutes. We done. I've done some really, really long ones, but there were like the commentary ones or whatever, and some live streamy things. Oh, hey, I drowned the bike. Hooray! Okay, good. Uh, yeah, they're, they're all about 50 minutes, like, around about an hour. Oh, so there's a lot of shorter ones. Hmm, I don't know. I wonder what the I wonder what the average time of these episodes is. Maybe someone could do the maths for me and <laughs> let me know in the comments or whatever. Or in Twitch chat live if you can do it before this video ends. <laughs> oh man, my chair's so noisy, damn it. Alright, anyway, here's the two perennials. Still not sure if I'm saying that word right. Uh, here's the one with the bars on the roof. Uh, and here's the regular one without the bars on the roof. Uh, now, this is this is where I'm going to get my viewer interaction in. Uh, I'm only going to keep one of these for as long as I care to do so. But which one? <gasps> which one do I keep? Or do I keep the one with the bars? Or do I keep the one without the bars? And you decide. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing this for. Um, yeah, I'm only going to keep one of these. I'm not going to keep both of them. There's so many unique vehicles and so many unique vehicles that are better than these ones. I'm not going to 
keep every single one of them. So if, if anyone was wondering how I'm going to keep all of these vehicles, uh, I'm not, <laughs> basically. I mean, I just threw a load of vehicles away at the start of this episode. Uh, also, there's me recording a replay of them for some reason. I'm not sure why I did that. I, I guess I'll upload that replay with the other stuff. I'm going to put it in the file right now. Where is it? Uh, San Andreas replay.rep. I'll put that in with the files to upload, so you can have that replay if you want, I guess. <laughs> uh, where's the files? Oh, I already did. Wow, what a genius. I already put it in there. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, anyway, that's that done. Uh, got the two perennials, got the voodoo, and there's only one last vehicle to get in this mission. Um... You'll be surprised what it is. <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway, grab the vehicle, drive to start the mission. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, because this is just me driving. No, no it isn't. This isn't just me driving to the start of the mission. This is something different. I'm remembering things. This is why you shouldn't record commentary several days after recording the gameplay. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this is me going to the airport. So, in my attempt to get the last vehicles in this mission, uh, that are like, unique or special or whatever, um, I wanted a minigun to make it easier, so I'm gonna take the Shamal, fly to Los Venturas, grab the minigun that spawns there, uh, which took an embarrassingly large amount of attempts because I kept falling off the flipping structure, the uh, scaffolding. <laughs> It's like annoying to try to jump up with it, it's funny. And I messed it up a lot in this video, but not in this one, but in, in the outtakes I did. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm going to trade my rocket launcher in and use that to help me get the last vehicle. This vehicle isn't actually listed on the GTA forums list, uh, which I should probably talk about more. I should probably link that in the description. Have I already said that? Maybe I already said that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna, that, that thread of like every unique vehicle, if you want to massively spoil yourself and see what all the unique vehicles people have already gathered and made like little mini tutorials for, then you can read through that, I guess. A lot of like, I'd say, actually not a lot of, some of this stuff I do is unique, but some things in these episodes are like stuff I didn't come up with myself. Um, and I'm just following guides and what other people have said and other videos and stuff, but some things like I'm doing myself um, Like last episode flying under every bridge bridge got my voice. I'm like 25 and that still happens When's that gonna stop? All right, anyway <laughs> uh, Yeah flying under every bridge of the Hydra that was that was oh, that was all me, baby <laughs> well, Actually, I think bubble bobbler told me about the outer bound hmm bit of a map for that. Maybe someone else did. I don't know, it's probably him. Hi, Bubble. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's mostly me. <laughs> anyway, flying the shamble to the thing. I should probably speed this up, but I'm just gonna, just gonna keep rambling over it. I have nothing interesting to talk about. It's been a while since I did one of these, so I can't, like, poll viewer questions and stuff like that like I was doing before. Can't respond to people, can't answer concerns about the previous episode and stuff. One thing I will say is that I'm really scared about messing something up in these episodes now because they're like mission based and I can only really do every mission like, you know, I can only finish every mission once. Um, I'm pretty concerned about doing something wrong. So what might happen at some point is that I miss something vitally important in one of these missions and I might have to like have a redo episode where I'd like do an episode again or something. I'm not sure how I'll handle that, but. I guess I'll deal with that issue when it arrives, uh, arises. What's the saying for that? De deal with, cross that bridge when we come to it? Is that it? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, speaking of crossing bridges, uh, <laughs> I always do that kind of segue. Uh, here's me failing to climb up this thing. Thankfully I do get it somewhat decently this time. I don't think I fall off anymore. Uh, and yeah, there's the minigun if you didn't know that. Uh, there's minigun spawn here. I think I've showed that in an episode before, maybe. Alright, anyway, here's me having fun with my rocket launcher before I need to get rid of it and switch to the minigun. Hooray! Um, but yeah, I might have to redo one of these episodes one time. Because unlike in the Master Save where I could just do something again, the only stuff I could really lock myself out of was like the girlfriend stuff, and I was really careful about that. Catch me, fool. 
Um, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, I, I've kept like a billion saves and a billion backups. If I ever mess something up, I just have to go back, go back and do it. What the hell is my voice today? God. Maybe I should sit up more. Maybe, maybe that's better. Anyway, well, anyway, taken off. Hydra shooting at us, you know. We got shot once, but it's fine. The Shamal can take at least one hit. The, it seems like planes can normally take one direct hit and then that's it. Depends how many bullets are, get shot at you by the police. Damn Hydras. <laughs> but yeah, this, this might be the last time we venture into four-star territory. Probably not. I'm sure there'll be something else I want to do. But yeah, sometime we'll actually unlock San Fierro. That'd be crazy, actually, being able to use San Fierro. And I'm going to unlock of of other content as well. That's another thing I'm going to have to think about, is all the stuff that's being unlocked. A lot of stuff is going to be open to me. Like, once I get my first phone call, I'm going to have to think really hard what I want to do with that. Because... Because I have the stadium and I have a phone call that means I can do on Mission Zero stuff. I think I've talked about this before, didn't I? The, 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 this bit of the recording I'm doing right now, I recorded like uh, today and everything else I've done like yesterday. Because I've kind of forgotten what I said, so sorry if I'm repeating myself a bit. Oh dear, I'm like kind of rushing it. It's it's Saturday today, the Saturday before the video, this the 31st, the day before this video goes out. Um, so hopefully I hope this gets done in time. Alright, anyway, there's that save. Got the minigun. I just thought I would save so I didn't have to do that again. Um, and get rid of the police and whatnot. And here we are. We're gonna go back to do Big Smoke Mission. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to have to make a somewhat strange detour. So this is something... I, I don't know if this is known, and if, like, this is known knowledge and people, like, you know, have documented this and people are going to come out of the woodwork and say, yeah, Josh, we knew about this ages ago, you should have done better research. Um, but I found out that these, this mission, when you start it, the vehicle that is still loaded as your vehicle, like, the vehicle that you drove to the mission marker at the start and then started the mission... That vehicle gets added to Los Santos impound. Um, and I was having this issue where my Hydra was despawning. It was being unloaded or whatever. Because I was checking the save file manager thing. Uh, so there's my Hydra. I'm going to look at it. And then close the garage door and then leave again. Um, but I was having this issue where after this recording. Like I recorded this segment twice. Uh, the first time I thought I drove past the police station and despawned the Hydra. And the second time I was like, no, I didn't go anywhere near it. What's happening? I looked at the save. Right now, well, probably not anymore, but right now in this save file, there is a Hydra and two Voodoos spawned, uh, located, saved in the impound garage. Uh, and if you've been paying close attention to this video, you'll know that I drove a voodoo to the start of this mission both times I started it which is really weird so now there's going to be like a HPV 100 probably in that thing Let me, I'm going to check right now actually no I'm not um, but yeah I, I was having this problem where like if you add like another one or two vehicles to it um, the Hydra was being overwritten so I spent a long time trying to figure out a way to fixing this I tried like blowing up the vehicle before I started the mission I tried, um, what am I doing here? I tried, uh, I can't remember, what am I actually trying to do in this segment here? <laughs> we'll see what happens, I might remember. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm doing the right thing now. I was kind of confused what I was doing then. Yeah, like I said, I recorded this segment, like, this is my third try, so I was getting a bit mixed up. Um, but yeah, I tried blowing up the vehicle, but that didn't work. It was just putting the vehicle in there anyway. Um, I tried not lo unloading the vehicle by not using too many vehicles in the mission to unload it because the game only stores like your last two vehicles or whatever. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, and then I tried just doing that, which was going going to the Los Santos impound, looking at the garage, seeing the Hydra, and then closing the door again. And then that works. That 
deletes the two voodoos that were not really in there because as you saw they weren't there uh, it removes them and just adds the lone hydra to the garage save again so yeah it was really weird maybe this i've seen a lot of people talk about how storing stuff in the impound isn't reliable um but I've never had any problems with it until now, and I reckon it's just maybe this is happening in other missions, because the game has this un I've, as I've explained before. The game oh also here's a fire truck. I'm going to use it for this. Um, this game has like an unfinished feature where like your vehicles get added to the impound if you lose them during to getting busted and like missions and stuff. Uh, there was actually supposed to be a mission that explains it, like a bit of it was cut content, and they never actually finished the feature and stuff. But there's still remnants of it, like this for example. So maybe this actually happens at the start of every mission, like the vehicle that you drive to the marker, and then it unloads by the marker. Maybe it gets added to the impound? I'm not sure. I'll have to find out once we get later in this playthrough. But yeah, it, it was a really weird problem, and I spent several hours actually trying to fix it. Uh, if you pay attention to like the the the, uh, the timestamp on the save files, you'll see there's like big difference between the last save and this save. That was that was me trying to figure out why my Hydra is despawning all the time. But yeah, it's really weird. Uh, this fire truck actually, after this segment, I drive it to the mission marker, and it's actually in the impound, like not despawned. It's in the impound with the Hydra after this. It's really weird. So yeah, if anyone knows about these things, uh, let me know if this was already known and I'm just an idiot, or let me know if it's just Big Smoke that does this or what, but yeah, apparently that's why the impound is so unreliable, so there you go. Uh, hopefully I've solved the issue and hopefully I won't lose my Hydra anytime soon, I'm going to keep an eye on it, uh, make sure it stays there. Uh, if I do keep having problems with it, I can just move it to like San Fierro impound for example. And, uh, yeah, deal with it there. Anyway, I think I just talked over that cutscene that we haven't seen before, but never mind. And we see it again later, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so yeah, the last vehicle for this mission is actually, uh, their bikes. I, I, I want their BMXs. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the fire truck to block them off here, because this is, like, the best choke point. Uh, maybe the one in the skate park's a bit better, but yeah, this seems pretty decent. Uh, my poor homie's getting getting lost. <laughs> he doesn't know how to get to me. He's on the other side of the fire truck. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna trap these guys in. I'm gonna take a few photos with them, and then I'm gonna try steal hey, their bikes. On, uh, unfortunately, you can't just press F and get on their bikes. It's like for some reason CJ just doesn't even try to enter it. Uh, here's some nice snaps. Uh, these are all downloadable, by the way, if you want them. <laughs> Obviously. Um. Oh, look at that. That's a good picture. Damn, I got some good ones here. Oh yeah, oh perfect, look at that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can't actually steal their bikes, it won't let you get on them. You press F and CJ just tries to get in the fire truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill one of them, like this. Uh, well, I can see them all. I think I rotate here so you can get. Yeah. But the problem with killing them is that their bikes just disappear. Uh, I know my camera got a bit stuck in the fire truck there, but as I said, I recorded this segment like three times and every time every single bike despawned. So, unfortunately, I can't steal their bikes. I can't think of a way of doing it. Um, if I can't get on it, you can't knock them off, as I've tried in, like, many speedruns. Like, pushing them as fast as, or as hard as you can doesn't knock them off, so you can't take their bikes that way. Uh, and apparently just killing them doesn't get their bike either, so that also doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, if anyone can figure out a way of getting their bikes... Let me know, and I guess I'll do a redo of this episode and take their bikes. But anyway, in the meantime, we will just use them to get every failure state instead. So, I just killed Sweet. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take a picture of his dead body, but I mean, whatever. Uh, the other two guys, I like, mess around with their dead bodies a bit. Uh, yeah, and here's this fire truck, me starting this mission with the fire truck, as you can see. So the fire truck unloads, because it's like being despawned by the mission. Uh, and when I go check on the Hydra, the fire truck's there. Anyway, there's smoke. So if smoke is dead, wait, there's a failure state. Uh, obviously these failure states are kind of the same, so maybe in the future I won't just kill every single NPC every time, but since there's only four failure states in this mission, apart from like death and busted, four unique failure states to this mission. That was a nice picture. <laughs> um, I'll just do them all anyway. 
Alright, yeah, I think I take this Zedar, so I'm just gonna like run them over a little bit. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this Zedar, go to the Los Santos impound, and reset the impound garage and get my Hydra. Um, and yeah, you'll see that the, the fire truck is there, which really surprised me. So that was the one thing I couldn't figure out. I can't figure out why sometimes the, the two Voodoo's weren't there, but the fire truck is, and I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I just used less vehicles in between, because I'm only driving a ZR here and I'm not unloading them, so maybe that's the reason? But I'm not sure, I think there was something that contradicted that uh, theory later on, if I remember right. But yeah, it's really weird, I'm not, not sure what's happening there. So, here's the fire truck, along with the Hydra, see? So I'm gonna like, shut it, open it again, and now annoyingly the fire truck is like, closer to the Hydra. Uh, and I couldn't get them to shuffle the way I wanted, so eventually I just decided to just... get the fire truck out of the Hydra, because <laughs> it doesn't look good it being inside the Hydra like that, I'm kinda scared. So, thankfully I managed to drive the fire truck out of the Hydra, and yeah, Hydra's all good, perfectly fine, my precious baby, I'm never gonna lose it. That, that is one vehicle I do want to keep through this whole playthrough, is that Hydra, it's so special, it's so, so special to me. Right. Anyway, got the fire truck again, hooray! <laughs> So yeah, if you're doing a playthrough of this game, uh, and you are upset that you can't ever use your unique modded vehicles for anything because you'll lose them, uh, maybe you won't. Maybe they'll just be put in the impound. kind of wish this feature was in later games. Like in GTA V, I really found that having like a modded vehicle was completely pointless, because you always lost it at every turn. And then in GTA Online, they have like insurance for every vehicle, and it's like, impossible to lose a vehicle and it's like ridiculous like why isn't that in the single player as well ah. but yeah anyway <laughs> ramblings about GTA 5 I think I've said that exact thing last time I said I uh, talked about the impound I don't know <laughs> oh god my chair's so noisy all right anyway here we go again uh, last last failure state uh, which I believe is rider so I'm just gonna look out look how easy the this is with the minigun I'm just gonna kill Ryder. Ryder's dead. There you go. So we've, we've got every special vehicle and we've got every failure state. Wonderful. Maybe I'll come up with some other additional stuff I want to do in these missions, but yeah, this, this mission's pretty simple. Not much to it. I already scraped all the data files and stuff for it, so <laughs> not, not too much content for me. Uh, what was it I do here? So. So here, I think I drive... Yeah, so here I drive back to the impound. Uh, this time, however, I take the bike to the impound. My ZR is still there. Um, I believe my ZR is still there? Yeah, there it is. My ZR is still there. So this time, I get off the bike and into the ZR. And then I've driven, like, two vehicles since the fire truck. So the fire truck is unloaded. And then this time, when I go to the garage the fire truck isn't there so my I think my theory that if you drive two or more vehicles which is how the game works it just only stores like your last two vehicles your last two personal vehicles driven and they have like a timer attached to them I think it's five minutes maybe it's three minutes uh, and then they unload uh, anyway I think my theory of not driving too many vehicles in the mission and then going to the impound and you find your vehicle there and it's like saved Otherwise, if you drive too many, it still takes a save slot in the garage, but it's not actually there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's what's happening. A again, someone might correct me, but yeah. So that there they go. I've saved the Hydra. There's nothing else in that garage now. There's always seemed to be one random vehicle there, but it's not actually saved in the garage for some reason. I don't know how it knows what's a vehicle to save and what's not, but yeah, there you go. Uh, and that's that. So, there's only one last thing to do, uh, and that's to pass the mission uh, properly, and just finish it, and call this a day. Oh yeah, there's a bit of an editing fail here, uh, so I go straight from this load game menu uh, to a black screen, 
Uh, normally, I show myself like loading the save and starting, but the uh, my recording didn't actually start in time for me to uh, show the show the load game bit. So that black screen was after the load game menu had like gone. It was loading the save and stuff. So yeah, whatever. It's a bit cut out. Oh, it's not true. 100% plus anymore. Am I right? It's like 99%. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, here we go. Going to start the mission for the one final last time. Uh, this segment was fun to record. You'll you'll see why. <laughs> so, so now I've completed a master save, and we can do these missions. And I have lots of equipment and loads of stuff to make this super easy. Uh, there's only one way I was ever going to do this oh, mission. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to ride along with Sweet here for a bit to listen to this dialogue, and I'll be quiet, I guess. Back some, huh, CJ? Actually, yeah. why am I being quiet? You already heard all the dialogue. I, I played it all. <laughs> CJ, right here, why am I even bothering with this? I, so I don't bad. know. Whatever. Anyway, I, I ride along with Sweet here, yeah, listen to his dialogue. Woo, fancy them. dialogue. That's nice. Uh, I got the baller's car chasing me, which is kind of important, because uh, I want him. Uh, and we're... We're going somewhere, we're leaving it behind, and we're going to go get a thing. I'm sure you can guess what it is. There's, there's only one way we're going to do this mission, uh, and that's with the Hydra. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, so yeah, I decided to to do this mission with a Hydra. Um, obviously, I don't want to do this with every mission, every time, because it's going to get pretty old of like, Haha, Hydra by the way. Um, so I probably won't overuse this, but I mean, come on, it's like the first mission, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, one of the difficulties here was that the pink car is still chasing me, so I just ran in as quickly as possible to get the Hydra, I didn't bother, like, stealthing it up or whatever. Um, because the pink car kept, like, shooting the Hydra and blowing it up. Uh, thankfully he didn't shoot me too much there, and we're, we're good, we managed to get out. But yeah, this, this took a lot of recordings, uh, but I got there in the end. Uh, but yeah. So last episode, I flew the Hydra under every bridge, uh, and then immediately after the episode, uh, I noticed, and a lot of people sent me comments and tweets about, that I didn't fly under every bridge. I kind of missed a few. Uh, so real quick, before I do this mission in the Hydra, I'm going to go fly under every single one of those bridges. <laughs> and, and it's still the master save, because I haven't completed a mission yet. But we get this extra special present, uh, because the pink car is still following me, uh, the pink car is on every bridge we fly under. <laughs> uh, so there he is right there. Uh, I will confess though, unfortunately that was my plan to have the pink car be on top of all the bridges we fly under. Uh, unfortunately, the pink car kind of kills himself at some point. Uh, I, I think he like drowns in the water somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Um, also, I kind of pussy out on this bridge. The, the, Glen Park was taking me a real long time to fly under because all these buildings and stuff. Maybe if I took like a longer approach or something, I could do it. But yeah, I, I gave up in the end because I was running out of time and I need this out before April Fool's Day. So I was uh, just going to pussy out and just hover mode under it. I flew under it, all right? Uh, so yeah, the pink car is still alive by this point, I think. He's driving around. He's not on the bridge, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, my initial plan was to have him be on the bridges, but uh, here I'm going to like fly. Oh, there he is. He was on the bridge. Perfect. Uh, here I'm going to fly to Los Venturas and fly under one last thing. Um, unfortunately, on my way to Los Venturas, it kept happening sometimes that the guy would just disappear, and I'm theorizing that he drives into the water and drowns. You actually hear an explosion, I think, if you listen. I think he, like, flips, actually, here. So if you listen out, you hear, like, something explode. And the only car that could possibly be loaded at this point is the pink car. So it can be the only one that explodes, surely. Um, but yeah, he, he was drowned a lot of times, so he doesn't live to the end, I'm sorry. Also, as a side effect of him not living here, uh, I actually miss a bit of a cutscene. So the cutscene where, like... Uh, Sweet runs off with the baller's car and he says, baller's car, I'll, I'll get him or whatever, and then you follow, like, Ryder instead. Uh, we get the alternate one where that cutscene's, like, half missing and and Sweet comes with us anyway and doesn't disappear. Uh, so I kind of didn't watch that half of a cutscene. I'm sorry, the pink car drowned himself while I'm trying to fly on the bridges. Not my fault. <laughs> 
Uh, and yeah, I, I bit, a bit of a time constraint, and this was taking way too many tries, so I kind of just skimped out on it a bit. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the pink, the pink car's long gone by now. I, I was looking out for him, but he's he's nowhere to be seen. It would have been so funny just having the pink car being like on the dam as I'm flying under it, but never mind. I'm focusing on the negative too much. This this is great. I'm flying under more bridges in a Hydra during the first mission. This this is what this playthrough is all about. Stupid stuff with overpowered equipment way earlier than I should have it. <laughs> Just like... Think about every other playthrough of this game and what they're doing during Big Smoke. They're riding on a bike <laughs> alongside them, getting shot at by ballers, no weapons and stuff. And here I am just doing it in like the best vehicle in the game with four stars. Oh yeah, I do it with four stars as well, don't I? Fantastic. This is a good way to start start the uh, season two, I think. Doing it in a Hydra. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess I'll start doing my closing speech or whatever. I don't have too much to talk about. I've kind of talked about the whole thing before I even did it. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope this was a good comeback. It's obviously hard to like the, the Half-Life 3 effect of the longer you wait, the better your expectations become or whatever. So <laughs> hopefully this episode was okay. I, I always get worried at the end of every episode. Like last episode, I was worried people weren't going to think was very good. Um, but then it turned out people really liked it, so it's okay. So I'm hoping that happens again. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for sticking through me, through with me through this gap. Hopefully we can get back to this. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna do some missions. Everyone, everyone kept asking when I'm gonna do the missions, and here they are. So I hope the view accounts like twice as much. <laughs> oh yeah, also hi Twitch chat. Happy April Fool's Day. Um, I'm sure I'm in the chat watching this with you right now. Uh, make sure if you only just got here or you missed half this episode or whatever to make sure to go watch it on my YouTube channel. You know, give me that views. Come on, brah. Uh, and yeah, here's, here's a cutscene with a Hydra. I, I'm just going to talk for it. Yeah, it's like, that's it. We, we, we skipped the other half of the cutscene. And there's the four stars. Also, it turns out you can lock on to the homies and shoot them. Um, but they have a lot of health, so they survive. <laughs> I did in one of my recordings, when I'd finally managed to fly under all the bridges and stuff, I did accidentally kill them, which was quite annoying, and I had to re-record this, so I was very careful to just show that you can lock onto them and not actually kill them. Also, this is kind of terrible flying here, I don't know how the hell I managed to make it through this unscathed. Uh, but yeah, I'm back, we're gonna... Oh, oh I didn't make it unscathed. I <laughs> whacked the loads of the Hydra Knights. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Hopefully these episodes will come out frequently. I'm sure they won't. I say this every time. Every episode starts with scheduled talk and every episode ends with scheduled talk. So we're going to talk about the schedule. Hopefully it's good. Probably not though. Um, but yeah, make sure you tune into GTA Marathon. I talked about it earlier, but yeah, remember that's happening. Um, obviously if you're watching this on YouTube like a few months later, uh, don't worry about it. Maybe watch some VODs if you really care that much. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. Not too much to talk about. Uh, there's a cutscene coming up. Uh, I'll end my commentary at the cutscene. All I do after the cutscene is. Whoa, that was close, jeez. Uh, all I do after the cutscene is explore CJ's house a little bit, look at some pictures and stuff. Um, maybe I'll try to recreate some of the pictures that are like just the landscape and whatnot. But yeah, we finally gain access to CJ's house and I can finally get my rewards from all the tags. I think the only one I use is like, um... I don't remember what the only weapon I use now actually. I think it's the SMG maybe, I don't know. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, happy April Fool's Day. I hope there's some other good gags online. I know some people don't like this day, but I love it. It's fantastic. And uh, happy Easter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! Showed them niggas who's gangster. Why the nigga? So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. <laughs> the last thing we need is your help. Ah, man, I won't let you down. I swear. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. 
I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. Thank you. 